Good day, Bayaos! Welcome to our channel, Bayao Tutorials. In, vi in this video, I am going to solve a problem in Chapter 2, Principles of Hydrostatic. From Fundamentals of Fluid Mechanics, 6th edition, by Monsoon. Here is our example. 2-32 For the inclined tube manometer of figure 2-32, the pressure in pipe A is 0.6 PSI. The fluid in both pipes A and B is water. And the gauge fluid in the manometer has a specific gravity of 2.6. What is the pressure in pipe B corresponding to the differential reading shown? So here is our figure. Before we solve this problem, we must identify the given values. Pressure at point A is equal to 0.6 PSI and we converted it into pound per squared inch. The specific gravity is equal to 2.6. The specific weight of water is equal to 62.4 pound per cubic feet. Since the dimension here is cubic feet, we must convert it into pound per cubic inch so that the dimension is all equal. And to get the value of 0 0.0361, we must divide the 62.4 into 12 times 3. The specific weight of fluid is equal to 162.24 pound per cubic feet. To get the value, in order to get the value of specific weight, specific weight of fluid, we must multiply, must multiply the specific gravity and the specific weight of water. And the result is 162.24 pound per cubic feet. Also, we must divide this into 12 and multiply it by 3 to get the value of 0.094 pound per cubic inch. And the height is 3 inches. We are asked to determine the pressure in pipe B corresponding to the differential reading shown. The solution. Since our assumption is positive if it is downward and negative if it is upward, so point B is equal to point A plus a specific weight of water times height minus specific weight of fluid times height minus specific weight of water times height. So to understand this more, this from point A must go downward. Since our assumption is positive if it is downward, so plus. And we are dealing here with water. So, specific weight of water times the height, which is 3, minus, since from this point to this, we are going upward, it is negative. So, sine 30 is equal to opposite 
over hypotenuse. Opposite, which is 8, over hypotenuse. Since we are going to solve for H, we must multiply this side by 8 and this side by 8. So, cancel, cancel. And H is equal to 8 sine 30. And we're done in this part. This is, uh, again, we are dealing here with the width. And this part, <clears throat> this point to this, we are dealing with water. So, specific weight of water times the height, which is 3 inches. So, plug in all the so plug in all the values. Point A is 0 0.6 pound per squared inch plus 0 0.0361 pound per cubic inch times the height, which is 3 inches, minus 0 0.094 pound per cubic inch times sine 8 sine 30 minus 0 0.0361 pound per cubic inch times the height which is 3 inches. So cancel all the common dimension. 0 0.6 okay, point B is equal to 0 0.6 pound per squared inch plus 0 0.1 0 0.083 pound per squared inch minus 0 0.376 pound per squared inch minus 0 0.1083 pound per squared inch and we get the value of point B which is 0 0.224 pound per squared inch and we converted it into PSI, that's it. The value of PB. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video.